Weather chick. Oh, the scientist. Nice. He fucks. Does he? Yeah. That's what she. That's what they were talking about. Welcome back to fuck. Um, he he want like I guess Abby and Manny shared a room, and he wants to fuck girls in it. So he's like, hey, thanks for letting me borrow the room. Mmm. But not her. Nope. Too manly. No, because like her and Owen are kind of a thing, but not really. Even though he fucks Mel and gets her pregnant. Not if this is gonna help you guys. Just so you know, none of this will help you. <laughs> I like the holes in her shirt. Yeah, I just noticed those. Cool. She got it from the the Pope. It's holy. She got so fucking buff. It's probably from you know living right next to the gym. Hey. Well, I kind of think it plays into her character a little bit, too. Like, her dad died, and she, like, you know... Hey, I want to come in there and beat the children up. I don't know. I think she kind of wanted to just be, like, you know... Wow. Strong. Strong. To try and protect. So you're telling me you fuck Mrs. Potts? She protect. What you, what you at? looking at? Infection check. Shit. Piano recital on Wednesday. Hell yeah. I wonder if they did mocap on the children. They probably didn't because they're not like in the game hardly at all. Yeah. Grab some food. Yeah, on it. Get me something complicated. But my dad's dead. But but my dad's dead. <laughs> what? How old do you think Abby is? Head here. Yeah. Probably twenty. Twenty. Okay. Maybe 21. She, I'm just saying, like, because how, how old do you think she was in the flashback when her dad died? You know, was, she looked like she was maybe 15. 15 I would say a little older. 16? Probably 16 or 17. Okay. Well, I believe, what was Ellie? 13? Ellie, Ellie was 14 in number one. And then and we're four years in the future, so that would make her 18, 19 ish. Yeah. Fuck you, Jordy. Is that PSP? Who even plays PSP? Nice to see you too, Abby. Hey, I take what I can get. I tried to talk to you. Oh shit, Jordan! I didn't see you there. Actually, I did. Fucking did. Oh, you managed to chin strap. So uh, we're doing the the Mountain Dew, <clears throat> sponsored by Mountain Dew today. Seriously? Oh, <sighs> Mountain Dew. Don't be cunty. There's <laughs> Mountain Dew. We like the uh, unscripted fart series. So we we <laughs> give you guys a <laughs> lifetime supply of Mountain Dew. I'm gonna keep saying it till it happens. In my vlog series on my music channel, I'm gonna have to start kicking that up and start doing Mountain Dew sponsorships every time. I did it in one of them. I did. Hey, sir. Ah, Abby. Abby. How you feeling? Hey, baby. Fantastic. A little shaky. Please tell him to get rid of this. Oh, I tried. <laughs> I look good. That's horrible, eh? <laughs> well, we have to head out. Keep him safe. I don't speak uh, French. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks up at her. He's like. Neither do I. <laughs> but me <whatever>. neither. <laughs> <laughs> no hablo inglés. No hablo francés. <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Who's fucking sure. Nathan Barnett hanging out with here? <laughs> Probably some hot chick. No, well, looks like a, it's Pound. a black man. I don't know who this is though. It's he just to, like a hot he chick. just made a new. Uh, Short oh, film called okay. Milford. Burritos. Again. Oh no. My dad always farted when he got burritos. What are you doing? <laughs> I completely, I kind of forgot about that because you made the joke <laughs> and I didn't want to say anything. Come on. It's so embarrassing. Why do you have three? Go on back. Now don't freak 
Ah. It's coming with this. Like porn toy, hell yeah, dude. Where's your pack? In the room? Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about both of you. And I'm tired of holding this shit. Does she know I'm on this drive? She does. And she's cool with it? Yeah. <laughs> Why does your yeah sound like a no? By accident. Come on. Stop being paranoid. No, no. I'm paranoid. I'm gonna return this burrito. El burrito. You know, you guys would move the line faster if you fucking made anything. Yeah, right, right. They'll just stand in there. What if I wanted uh, some meat instead of burrito? A Cabrera. <laughs> oh, you don't have a uh, wet floor slide. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip and then I'm gonna break my leg, and I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking tell on you. Fucking chucking football. Do you think they put steroids in the burritos? We can't be late for she probably put steroids in her burritos. <laughs> you just. No, I think of her bodybuilding thing as like, uh, yeah, kind of like something to kind of make up for her dad dying. Probably. But who knows? Who knows about a giant? I think you're going to make me uncomfortable. No. It's an opportunity for you two to finally move forward. We barely said a word to I paved my own path. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen? Of course not. So here's the thing that's dumb is that they're taking Mel with them on their patrol or whatever. They're going to the forward operating base. She hasn't hurt people like that before. But it's like she's pregnant as shit. She has scars all the time. She probably shouldn't be going anywhere until she has like gives birth, you know? Yeah. She's a medic. Come on, Abby. She's family. Do it for me. Okay? I'll try. That's all I'm asking. Get your things ready. I'm gonna grab them. Yeah. Be nice. Bye. Sony expects the PS5 to have a short lifespan. Is it like it won't be around for very long? Or like it's gonna red ring of death. Red ring, yeah. Except for it was blue light of death for her. And then you didn't even do. I'm not. I, I gotta do them now. Dishwashing simulator. It's not one of mine. Scientist, huh? Huh. It will be one of mine. Let's get a nude scene. Let's go. See, I would not like this room. Too many big windows? Yeah. Yeah. This is where I sleep. Right, with the huge windows right here. I would have moved my bed way the fuck up here. And put it over here. I'm like, whoever has this one, has it correct. So, what's his face? Manny? Yeah, Manny. Manny dead man. You crying? No, it just stinks like dirty socks in here. <laughs> knock, knock, motherfucker. You're pregnant. Why are you coming? Because I'm pregnant and I'm I'm uh, I'm a scapegoat. Hey, I actually cleared you for active duty. Barely. Whoever made that decision made a poor decision. Sit around if I don't have to. And Owen's okay with this. Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on our way. Who better? Why is it up to Owen? Because men have just as much right to that baby as you do! You fucking feminist! <laughs> I'm gonna push her. It's just the usual rotation. It's 
push this is a back. pretty sick setup they got going on though. Yeah. Like really good actually. Too bad their leader guy is like fuck everybody. He's complaining about the sharp pain in his wrist. He can barely hold his spoon. Maybe we can get him some more painkillers. Heard they moved you and Owen to section ninety six. Sixty nine. It's lots of young families. Okay, you guys excited about the baby? Seeing all the kids running around. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> all those crying babies. Let's drive all with Grace. He hasn't even seen it yet. He's out on rotation with Danny. Danny. Yikes. Sucks for him. Yeah. Which one was Danny? Uh, I think he's a nameless, faceless man. Oh, okay. Sub so puppers. Shouldn't say nameless. They just call him Danny, but yeah. I don't know if we've ever met him in the game. She's playing and if he, I think he might have been part of uh, the thing with Jackson with with Joel, but I I don't remember. And if if he was, he wasn't really brought up, so don't don't worry about him. I'm gonna stab you later. I'm gonna stab the hell out of all of you. All of you. Especially you. Yeah, okay, since you asked so nicely. Get the ball. Fucking blew it immediately. That's not nice. That's not nice. Don't worry, he'll be dead soon. looks at it, you fucking monster. <laughs> My rage knows no bounds, Taylor. What have I told you? <laughs> Look at him, he's still fucking looking for it. <laughs> Look at that poor dog. <laughs> oh. That's so sad. My rage knows no bounds. That's sadder than when you killed him. Don't worry, Taylor. It's just a bunch of pixels. No, I know. <laughs> That's how I justified killing the dogs in this game. I'm like, whatever, like, they're not real. <laughs> like, when you contextualize it as a video game, it's like, yeah, dogs, like, killing dogs sucks, but they're fucking fake dogs. They're not real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I get it, though. For some people, it's probably too much. Which trucks are in? Why couldn't they have robot dogs if they did in Wolfenstein? I'm driving. Sign us out. Wolfenstein. I don't speak Spanish. May your death be swift. I could use a warm What is that supposed to mean? That's not him who said it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a firing range you can go to if you want. He's cha he's challenging you to a firing range thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, him. Yeah, let's fucking go, dog. For some friendly competition. We never do see that. <laughs> no, because uh... whoever wins or loses, you never see who cleans the apartment. Which is a shame. I was really that's the reason why this game's getting zeros. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's fuck uh, I like that they drew little thingies on it. Oh, that might have been it. I fucked it. Oh, you won by two points. Oh. Wow. Wow. Dishes. That will never get cleaned. Cruel. That will never get cleaned. Oh, I my laundry too. Whoa, you got a trophy? What? I like the smoke that comes out of the gun. It's cool. <laughs> I 
And that's how you fuck a cat. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good. Pretty good. How come nobody else is firing now? Because <laughs> we were having a competition. Nobody, uh, nobody fires when there's a competition. Except for the competitive cheaters. Also, you should close that door before you take off your earplugs. Yes, that guy did shoot. You can get more ammo. Can I? Yeah, you just put some more out for you right there. Don't, did he? I don't want it. <laughs> I've been, like, not telling you deliberately about certain things that you miss because I don't want a backseat game, but certain shit like that, I'm like, no, get the ammo. <laughs> <laughs> but, Taylor, what are, how, how am I supposed to learn from my mistakes? Because you didn't even know that the ammo was there. <laughs> yeah, I would have learned from my mistakes by not having ammo when I went out. Plus, that's fine. I don't need ammo. All right, well, reload it then. <laughs> reload. <laughs> Take away, or just go back and fire all your ammo off again. <laughs> they hate each other or whatever well because one was fucking Owen before the other yes, yes. and then Owen got that one pregnant and the other one buff the first if, the first time he came it was all just steroids what if it was actually it's Manny's like kid he fucked her Nah, I'm good. It's not a big deal. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just gonna wear myself out. I'm gonna pick it up with you. I just need time. You wear it anyway. What do you mean? He's uh. <coughs> Abby's a side hoe. Being flaky. Abby's a side hoe. Yeah. And uh, Owen, Owen is uh, being flaky. On the whole, uh, you know, children, because men don't like children. I don't like children. See? They say when you're pregnant, yeah. your boobs get bigger. Oh shit! No, never mind. No time to talk about it. <laughs> I like that. That is my. Uh... I only shoot horses. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. That was... Oh, no time to talk about it. Pretty sure I've seen you don't have to do anything here, actually. You can just sit, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to kill horses. Oh, I know. It's a good scene. I like it. Excuse, excuse me, sir. I'm trying to shoot your horse. Oh, oh bitch. Wow. Dodged. My horse like, fucking turned on a dime, dude. Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. I shot you. I feel like the horses, after getting shot once, would be like, oh, fuck, no. Yeah. Like, they'd be so skittish, probably. This is why we can't have those things! Oh. Oh, man. How your breasts? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Where are you are you pumping yet? <laughs> How are your breaths? <laughs> That's so dumb. 
See, like, why is she even out here right now? <laughs> because like she should be in like a, if they're gonna if she's going to the forward operating base, she should be like in like a big convoy of people. And she shouldn't be fucking out with a gun and shit. She's super fucking pregnant. <laughs> yeah, she is. Let me make that pipe bomb. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'm doing. Since I. I don't think her um, med kits are as, are as uh, potent either. Probably not. They're probably like the first level. I don't remember. <laughs> um, so, if you haven't guessed now, we play as Abby for quite a while. Um, I'm going to hit things with this stick. So if you open up your thing, like you do have the upgrade trees or whatever. But I don't know which, which uh, I don't know if she gets better, uh, like on med kits or not. I don't remember. I don't rightly remember. You get increased health. You get more health than Ellie does. Less whole breath. Less I whole. always forget about the whole breath thing. That's actually not like a bad thing. Like it can be really helpful. I just always forget to use it. Give me that. So if and when you get that, I I recommend trying it out because it is actually very useful. I just always forget that that it's a thing. If you shoot her, it's like you've created a time paradox. <laughs> oh no, and fuck the facts. Oh, fuck it. The difference is too with Abby is you can craft shivs at some point, which is funny because in the first game that was a big component, but since Ellie always has a switchblade on her, you never had to craft shivs as her. Yeah. But as Abby, you can craft shivs. It's like this punk bitch, hey, you gotta choke him out. He'll break the neck. Break the neck. Break the neck. Yo, what up, my nickel? Sorry, am I gonna have to bleep that? Nickel? Oh, good near what you said. I said, yo, what up, my nickel? Okay, good. Because <laughs> you were choking him out, and I didn't hear quite what you said, so I'm like, um, <laughs> am I going to have to? I don't know about that. What? Do you think this is worse than getting drunk and... Going anime. I haven't watched watched anime in a long time. So. Would you rather do that or this? Um, I mean, are we talking about playing video games, like playing this game, or being in this situation? Being in this situation. Yeah, I'd probably fucking cringe with some anime over the, over this. Because <laughs> getting drunk and fucking anime, rather than uh, going into a zombie apocalypse. Yes, it's so weep of you. Well, what would you do? I would also do the same thing. Oh, I mean, I'd watch the anime, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the last time I've watched an anime. It's been been a bit. It's a couple months since I have. I'm going to write a concept album about Cowboy Bebop next. I think that one would be kind of tricky, just because like there's really only four episodes that have like the main story in it. Oh, and Whereas, they already had such great music. Yeah. I like the uh, I like the song Space Lion. That's a good one. I actually have the. I don't think I have the whole soundtrack, but I have a, some some tracks from that soundtrack on my my MP3 player. It's got some good fucking music. Yeah, dog. Arguably one of the best parts about Cowboy Bebop is the fucking music. Yeah. It's really good. I like it a lot. I also like it a lot. It's really fucking good. <laughs> uh. 
I know some people. <clears throat> some people. Are recently, like, oh. No, like I remember I told Derek about uh, Cowboy Bit Bop, and he's and like, he's, wow, and he'd never seen it, and he's a youngin, so he's never seen it, and I'm like, it's probably the best anime ever made, and then he watched, it, he's like, yeah, I, I don't think he liked it all that much, and I'm like, that's yes, fine, yes, Queen, I'm like, that's fine, you're wrong, but that's fine. It's a it's a very good work of art. I'm probably I'm probably outdated with anime though. I don't I don't really watch it. So oh, all shit. my anime knowledge is from like, you know, fifteen years ago, twenty years ago. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. There's a quick turn on this. Yeah, I actually got used to using it quite a bit for some reason in this one. I never used it in the first game. Oh, back. What, right what's here. what's the anime you watched, Billy? The anime that I watched? Yeah, you said you watched one like a month ago. Uh, the last one I watched was... Um, I think it was called... Eraser? Oh, oh. Boner fighter. I might be wrong. I don't know it might not be called Eraser. I can't remember right now. Here they come, here they come. Can the dog get infected by eating the infected? I don't know, maybe. Hmm. I don't remember the last one I watched. You got it? In its entirety. I don't remember, it's been a while. You got it. Ah! Ah! supposed to watch my back! They were doing a pretty good job, actually. Yeah. There's a clicker right there, so you gotta be careful with the clicker. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. my God. Oh, and a shambler. Uh-oh. A shambler. Oh, I'm a shambling man. Lord, there's a shambling man. man. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Uh, we're coming to your time. We're gonna shamble. Uh, oh no, you're gonna inhale the cloud and die. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I like it. What even happened? <laughs> she died. <laughs> it's uh, it's oh, what I man. wanted. Time paradox death. <laughs> Have you ever seen uh, <clears throat> Beck Mongolian Chop Squad? Nope. That's a good one. I mean, that's one that, like, every 14-year-old girl would love. Is there booze on it? Uh, no. Well, it's just because, it's just because, it's just because I feel like that's the target audience, is, like, 14-year-old boys. It's, uh, I, I mean, I like it, but it's, like, I don't know, there's kind of some dumb shit in it, too, in my opinion. But whatever, you know, it's, it's about, uh, a 14-year-old boy who learns how to play guitar. Mm, so it's, like, right. one of those, it's kind of one of those slice-of-life ones, sort of. I don't mind oh. those ones. I don't mind those ones because they don't feel like super tropey most of the time. Yeah. But yeah, I think the last one I watched was called Eraser. What's that one about? Uh, it is about a guy who has a special power that he can't control, basically, that allows him to go back in time uh, in a sm small amount of... Uh, uh, like he can control it enough to where like if he sees a blue light he knows that he's about to go back in time and something can happen he can fix what happened like what uh, what is shown is um, he he was driving as a pizza delivery person and a kid get hits by but gets hit by a, like a big truck and then like the blue light shows and then he he goes back and now he can actually grab the kid before mm. it happens. I was gonna say, is it like he sees the blue light but he doesn't know what happened yet or something? Uh yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. So then he goes back and tries to fix the situation. He doesn't even know what happened yet. Yeah. But that's not actually what the story is about. 
that's just his power. Uh, what the story is actually about is that um, he gets teleported back. Normally it's only like a couple minutes or something. Uh, this time it's 12 years. Oh. When he's just a boy. Oh. And um, it happens right before uh, a little girl that he was friends with at the time uh, goes missing. And then uh, dies later. Mm. So he has to try and basically prevent her death. With uh, you know, he doesn't lose knowledge or anything. He is him still. Interesting. So he knows all about the stuff and things. And uh, yeah, he basically helps this little girl. Did you finish it? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Is very heartwarming and sad all at the same time. Is it a full length season or what? Yeah, it's one one twelve episode long season. Oh okay. And so normally like a full one's twenty six or something. Uh, depends. Okay. I remember Kids on the Slope was twelve. Normally the ones that are like forty five minutes an episode are about that length. Yeah. Twelve. You ever see Kids on the Slope? That one was alright too. Uh no. Guys. Didn't Jimmy like that one? Oh, I think so. That one's all right. It, that's a that's a short one too. It's twelve episodes, I think, and it's uh, two guys or friends, and they play jazz music together. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think that it's kind of like a love triangle sort of thing with their female friend or something. I don't remember exactly, but it's not bad. It's all right. It's kind of got like a nice. Uh, it's got a nice ending. I like the ending to it. So then the ending, they like, it's kind of a similar sort of thing where they like kind of grow distant or they like had a, an argument or something like that. And then like 12 years go by and then like the one guy's the drummer and he becomes like a fucking priest or some shit at a church. Mm -hmm. And then the other guy was a piano player and he becomes a, like a doctor at a hospital or something. And then I forgot what the, the inciting incident was, but then eventually they meet up, like, the doctor guy goes to the church and sees the dude, and then for some fucking random reason, there happens to be, like, a piano and a drum set in this church. <laughs> so then they just jam out at the end, and, like, nothing had changed, and it's like, that's... I like the ending. It was cool. Next time at Chinstep Chaps, we, we play piano and drums, yep. and go to church simultaneously. Mm -hmm.